Welcome to my unboxing of a pretty good value Netgear Switch. This is from their ProSafe series. It is the ahem, GS724T-300NAS, and it is a 24-port gigabit smart switch with web-based management. And uh, so yeah, if you're looking for, basically if you need a smart switch, okay, with web-based management, and you need a bunch of gigabit ports because most inexpensive switches are still using 10 hundred ports for the bulk of them. This is pretty much the one to get. It's around the $200 mark and we're going to be using this for a really cool little project where we show you how with, okay it's not cheap, but for about a thousand bucks plus drives you can turn your home storage server into a four gigabit home storage server that is capable of streaming one gigabit per second, so a gigabit network connection to multiple computers within your house, all concurrently, which means at the same time. So on the front, we find a Netgear logo, we find some indicators for the various 24 ports, including their speed, their link, uh, activity, so green is for gigabit, yellow is for 100 megabit. You can see we've got 24 ports, okay, just a sec. So these two right here are fiber modules. I was checking to see if they were 10 gigabit capable, but it makes sense that they're module based. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They're not modules, they're empty. They have placeholders in them. Um, so yeah, it would make sense that on a $200 switch they're not. So you can put one gig fiber modules in here, which will allow you to run over greater distances if you have the desire to do that, pretty much. Okay, factory default reset. Okay, and here you can see a beefy looking heatsink going on. And we got a power port and some more ventilation, some more beefy looking heat sinks. You can tell the power supply is here. Uh, it comes with a pretty cool little chart that tells you all about Netgear's various switches and the features they have, which is what we handily looked at this one for. So you can see this is a smart managed switch, whereas when you get into the more expensive stuff, you get into the fully managed switches, which have more features and can do all kinds of like more awesome and interesting stuff. So the GS724T uh, is the one that we're looking at here. Which is, it's got like, it's all got all kinds of great stuff, like max bandwidth that it's capable of. Mean time between failure, which is around 500,000 hours, 21.5 watts of power consumption, and a lifetime warranty on the hardware and the power supply. It doesn't include much, although it does include a useful little disc that has an application that allows you to easily plug your switch into your network and then not have to try and figure out what address to type in to access it, it'll just find it on the network and then it'll tell you what the IP is. So resource CD and uh, as well as your documentation for the switch itself. I think that's pretty much it. We're just unboxing this so that we can get on with that project. So uh, Slick's saying something to me. I don't know what he's saying to me. I don't know. He was telling me to say lifetime warranty. Um, which I'm pretty sure I already said. So don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Well, if Slick's gonna fail in the video, I guess I, I deserve to have one fail as well. So it comes with a power cable, as well as ears for mounting it into a, uh, into a rack, and screws for mounting it into a rack.